the Lee Funeral Home. We have live pictures for you now of that convoy as it makes its way to the Lee Funeral Home that is from the Karen suburb into the heart of the city here in Nairobi. Um, arrangements, of course, being made uh, now for his final journey. Uh, more reactions continuing to pour in even as we uh, take a look at uh, what's happening on your screens now. Um, the Senate Speaker, that's uh, Kenneth Lusaka, uh, saying tonight, I have received with profound shock and utter sadness uh, the news of the demise of Honorable Kenneth Matiba. He will be remembered for his contribution to the second liberation and constitutional reforms of this nation. Honorable Matiba fought valiantly for freedom of expression and multi-party democracy. We will remember his service to the nation as both a public servant and a politician. I want to extend my condolences to the family and pray for comfort and peace during this trying moment. That is a statement tonight from the Speaker of the Senate, Ken Lusaka. Even as Kenneth Matiba's body now makes his way to the Lee Funeral Home, and these are live pictures you are seeing of that convoy on your screens at the moment. Dead at the age of 85, now close to actually a little over three hours ago. He died at 10 minutes past six. This evening, the president was the first to make his way there. He had been keeping tabs on his health and his progress in hospital. And now the family and the doctors will not speak until the president has spoken and given his official announcement to the nation on the death of the man who is known as the father of democracy in this country. The man responsible for multipartism, for democracy, for the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom of political affiliation. We also understand President Uhuru Kenyatta is about to make that formal announcement. That will be made from State House. We will be relaying that to you live this evening during this broadcast and our rolling coverage of this breaking story tonight.